The world of My Hero Academia is quite the interesting one. It's basically if they took X-Men, made mutants not totally hated, and then pushed it so far in the future that pretty much everyone is now a mutant. Which makes me get all kinds of ideas about what my powers would be. Well, I mean, they call them quirks in My Hero, but you get it, they're the same thing. Now obviously let me know in the comments down below what quirk you would want, but there is one quirk above all. One quirk that is for all. One for all. <laughs> uh, puns are dumb. Yes, it's literally a power or quirk called one for all, and that quirk has been passed down generation to generation until landing onto a goat of a human being. The number one hero, All Might. Go beyond! This guy is everything great about Superman in a single smash, and if you get it, you get it. Literally taking out enemies with a smile as the symbol of peace. But what does it take to become All Might outside of, you know, eating someone's hair? Because we don't want to do that. You too can become a hero. <laughs> You should see your face right now. Well, in this video, I'll be breaking down and showing you what you can do to become All Might and breaking down some of his signature fighting style and teaching you how to get started in, you know, sending your own smashes to your own enemies. Now, I can't guarantee that those smashes will change the weather, but I can't guarantee that they won't. Wake up! Hey! Uh, thought we lost you there! What's up guys, it's the Old Ninja wearing a Raiders and a Subaru hat, and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Before we get into talking about the legend that is All Might, I just wanted to remind you guys to drop a like on the video if you may have forgotten. I know my ADHD really does kick in, so just remember it helps out the algorithm. But anyway, who exactly is the world's symbol of peace? I am here! Tashinori Yagi is the number one ranked hero in the world because in this world they rank heroes like NFL draft picks filled with different stats and categories that they base his choice on and All Might is leading pretty much all of them. He is known for his wild level of strength physically and his ability to literally leap into combat while wearing a smile, allowing everyone to get a little bit more peace in their hearts. Hence, you know, the symbol of peace. I got this! So, obviously, first, you're gonna have to work on that grit. <laughs> I would, you know, say go for Colgate, but they haven't sponsored me yet, so... <sighs> I'm still waiting. But back to his strength, when I say he is strong, I mean he is strong. He was able to throw punches that could casually change the weather, which I didn't entirely know was possible until watching this show, and I still don't think it is. But he is able to use his punches to create gusts of wind to launch him through the air to simulate flight or at least simulate really big jumps like the Hulk. And he was even able to overpower a guy literally designed to absorb his specific punches. The Nomu was designed to beat him and he overpowered him. So we're going to have to go with crazy high level of strength before we even think about martial arts. Now, obviously I am not a champion weightlifter. That's just not the life I've lived, but <laughs> ChatGPT can come in clutch. I fed it workouts from several different weightlifting athletes and this is basically what it told me to do. The workout we're gonna follow is going to start with a general warm up for about five to 10 minutes of light cardio, you know, jogging, cycling, jump rope, and other things of that nature. And of course, a nice dynamic stretch to warm up the joints. Leg swings, arm circles are a great couple options. And then we get into the main workout, starting with compound lifts, all of which are three to five sets of four to six reps basic squats, deadlifts, bench press, and overhead presses. Then we'll get into some accessory work meant to strengthen the muscles supporting the main lifts. These are things like pull-ups, rows, leg presses, and some kind of core workout. My personal favorite is planks, but Russian twists and leg raises are also pretty great. 
and then end it with a nice cool down filled with some stretching and maybe a little bit of foam rolling to aim in muscle recovery because we really need our muscles to recover to continue our workout. And just as a reminder, make sure to get a solid rest in between sets to avoid injury. The injury would keep us from becoming all might, so that's kind of important. Or technically, I guess it would make us more like all might, but still avoid that. Thing I could to keep the injury under wraps. I'm supposed to be the guy who's always smiling. Now, when it comes to his fighting style, I totally got you. This is where I could put my 22 years of experience in martial arts to good use. <laughs> yeah, 22 years of martial experience, an entire lifetime to break down All Might's fighting style, and I am unashamed. But this is unlike many of the other styles that I've covered on this channel. We're really only going to use two different styles of martial arts, boxing and Muay Thai, and those are for two specific reasons. Boxing has some of the strongest hitters in the world, and with the record holder hitting with the same force as a sledgehammer coming from overhand down onto an object, it's actually crazy. But that's definitely the main way we're going to turn our strength into an effective striking power even close to the level of All Might's. Again, I can't promise it's going to change the weather, but I can't promise that it won't. But when you really think about it, nearly all of All Might's moves are some variation of a punch named after different states. He does a bunch of jabs, crosses, hooks, overhands, uppercut. He does all kinds of hand punches. He doesn't really do palm strike. He doesn't really do a lot of grapples. He does a little bit, but that's when Muay Thai comes in. Muay Thai will give us enough clinch work and kicks to able to balance out the little bit of other moves that we see All Might do every now and then. It's also going to help us enhance our personal durability so our body doesn't break against those punches. Muay Thai fighters are the guys who can literally kick through bats and bend wrenches. So their training is definitely gonna make our body able to handle that one for all power that he has. But let's break down a little bit of basics so that we can get started in our All Might fighting style. Normally I would go through a different combination, but really most of his punches are just like solo punches. He does do some, you know, back to back, but that's really simple. So I figured it'd be a little bit better to go through and break down some uh, common misconceptions and common mistakes that I see a lot of people do when they're learning how to punch. A lot of people do these mistakes. I've been a martial arts instructor for 16 years now. So trust me when I say, if you aren't doing these, someone else watching this video is. So a couple of things that we want to make sure is when we make a fist, we want to curl our fingers in and put our thumb underneath. Many times people put their thumb on the inside or behind it, which is honestly even worse. We want to keep it underneath so that it doesn't get caught on anything and doesn't get broken because, you know, it's important that we keep our fingers if we're going to be throwing punches like All Might. Next, we're going to make sure we're striking with the first two knuckles. That means we're bleeding with those knuckles as we punch. If we punch and we have our wrist bent and lead with our back hand or our, the back of our hand, that's not gonna good, be good because you're gonna break your knuckles. You don't wanna do that, again, for the same reasons as before. So make sure you're punching with the first two knuckles only. When you get into a guard stance, you're, you can have whatever leg in front, your right leg, left leg, you go south paw if you want to, it doesn't really matter, but your front hand is always gonna be your jab and your back hand is always gonna be your cross. That means this is my front, if I'm punching in this direction, this is my front hand, my jab, and I'm gonna rotate my hip to put power behind that punch, right? As we switch hands, your back hand's gonna be your cross, a straight cross, just like so. We have our straight jab and our straight cross. We have one, two, and keeping our good hands, striking with the correct points, can allow you to a power, <laughs> can allow you to handle the power you put into it by rotating your hips. You wanna twist your hips as you rotate, as you punch to allow yourself to put in more power using your entire body as opposed to just throwing your arms. And of course you can add in more punches. You can do jab, cross, uppercut. You can do jab, cross, hook. You can do jab, cross, overhand. There's a 
ton of different things you can add to it to spice it up. You can switch it up. You can do cross, upcut, cross, hook, cross, right? You can do all kinds of combinations. The point is understanding how to make your fists and how to throw correct punches. And then go find a boxing gym and throw some hands because practice is important and getting real real one-on-one man-on-man practice or one man on woman practice is going to be really important if you plan on using these punches ever but thank you guys so much for watching and consider becoming a member of the channel like this guy here because it would be great you would help out the channel and it would get your name at the end of the video every single time and you can do it for less than a quarter of a cup of coffee from starbucks every month just it's, it's easy but if you don't that's fine too no no hard feelings see watching the videos of this far end and dropping a like is also great but with all that said my name is dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out be the modern ninja but lift off just know i'm dangerous I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pink Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim I hit flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to